Hey everyone, welcome back, and let's quickly talk about the routing system in SvelteKit. Now, Next.js and Vercel has had a huge influence on how SvelteKit implements the routing system, and that's really due to Dominic, Simon, and Rich Harris being employed by the company, being employed by Vercel, and so there's kind of no surprise that there is some overlap. Now, when you create an entirely new application, you're going to see a source folder, and then you're going to see a routes folder and that's where our routes are going to live. Now this can be configured, you know, differently if you want. I don't see or I haven't had any situations where I've needed to do that. But right out of the box, we're going to have a plus layout.svelte file and hey, it's really important that you include that plus. If you don't, this route is not going to work properly. And then we also get a plus page.svelte file. Now, this is not in a folder which we're going to need to do with other routes because this is the home page. And so if we kind of venture over here and we just go to um, you know, the, the base URL as is, you're going to see that this indeed is the home page. So to create an entirely new route, we're going to create a folder. See, that's a little bit different. And we're going to name this folder what we want that path to be, so slash about. Now, we're immediately going to add oops, a page.svelte file. And let's go ahead and just say about page. Okay, just nice and easy. And let's go ahead and navigate over to about. And as you see, it's right there. So everything is working properly. Okay, now we can also have nested routes just kind of as you'd expect. So we can go ahead and create a new folder inside of this. And I'm gonna introduce a new concept here, right? So we can kind of add a slug or add a parameter and then we're gonna able, be able to grab that from the page store that we're gonna talk about in a little bit. So we can name this whatever we want. Maybe I just say name. So, oops, so let me just go ahead and close that bracket there. Okay, perfect. And once again, I'm adding that plus page.svelte file, and that plus is mandatory like we talked about earlier. And I'm just going to open up a script tag here, and I'm going to import, and let's go ahead and import page from uh, app stores just like that. And so the you know the page store is going to hold a lot of information that we have at our disposal it's something i really like about svelte kit and i know we're moving away from stores in svelte 5 so this may have a different implementation in the future but i'd imagine that you know to some degree going forward that this is going to kind of remain the same or have some type of consistent approach we'll have to see on the implementation of that but now that we have this let's just go ahead and console.log um, and let's go with page, right? Because remember, when we're using stores, we need that dollar sign to access, you know, the values. And let's go to params. And see, we named this param right here name. So let's go ahead and add name. Okay, great. So let me go ahead and save this. Let me just kind of crack open this real fast. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to put my name, Hunter. Okay, and as you see, we are console.logging that, okay? And if we just wanted to quickly get that on the screen, you know, no surprise here. Let's just make an you know H1 tag, and I'm just going to paste this in. And as you see, we get Hunter on the screen. So this is a really easy kind of um, tutorial and just very basic on how the routing system works. I think you're really going to like this, especially considering, you know, if you need to kind of like tuck away some types inside, you know, a particular route and you think it's kind of best to live there, you can go ahead and do so. Or maybe you have a component that is not going to be used, you know, um, in, in, in different parts of your application and you just kind of want to put that component right there, well, that's a great place to put it. So I hope you got something out of it, uh, out of this video. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.